Hey folks, Matt here, and these are the metal vinyl releases for October 2020. On October 2nd, expect the latest album from Ellefson, released by Combat Records. It's called No Cover. Ellefson, of course, is the namesake of David Ellefson. He's the bass player for Megadeth. Uh, first off, love the Def Leppard parody album art. Hilarious. Uh, this is basically a cover tunes album, uh, covering such bands as Motorhead, Wasp, Def Leppard, of course, Judas Priest, Twisted Sister, Fastway, Fight, and a bunch of other bands. Uh, also a laundry list of guest musicians. Uh, we've got Charlie Benante, Eddie Ojeda, Mark Slaughter, Jason McMaster, Gene DeGrasso, Doro's on here, and a whole bunch of other people. Uh, if you want to hear his cover of Def Leppard's Wasted, as well as the cover of Judas Priest's Free Will Burning, they're both available on YouTube. You should check those out, especially Free Will Burning. It's the better of the two. Uh, double vinyl LP, but not much else in the way of vinyl variant information, so take that as you will. On October 2nd, we also have the newest album from Enslaved. It's called Utgard, released by Nuclear Blast Records. Uh, this is their 15th studio album. Uh, they're a progressive black slash Viking metal band. You probably already knew that. Uh, the album is available in black vinyl for all markets, as well as yellow orange splatter for Europe. Uh, comes in a gateful jacket with a four page insert. And currently, there are three music videos for tracks on this album, uh, two of which I can't pronounce, so I'm not even going to bother. But a search of the band and the album on YouTube will bring them all up. Uh, know the details on this release. Also on October 2nd is the upcoming album from Anal Nathrock. It's called Endarkenment, coming out through Metal Blade Records. Uh, this is their 11th studio album. Uh, they're British industrial black slash grindcore. Um, vinyl variants are <clears throat> Sperm Vinyl, which is basically translucent white, and Oxblood Vinyl, uh, which is more or less reddish brown. Uh, both are available in the U.S., though some additional variants... Uh, including black and clear gray and brown, are European releases. Uh, what you Europeans will also be getting is the uncensored album cover art. Uh, so if you're in America and you're interested in getting that, uh, or getting more than just a logo and, a, and an album title stamped on your cover, you should probably seek out the European pressing with the real cover art on it. If interested, Metal Blade is also doing bundle deals with this title, paired up with t-shirts and CD companions, as they're often wont to do. Uh, this comes as one LP and a single jacket, with a two-sided insert and a download card. And there's a music video available for the opening title track, so definitely check that out if interested. On October 9th, expect the newest album from Hellripper. It's called The Affair of the Poisons, coming out through Peaceville Records. Uh, this is the second full-length album from this Scottish blackened speed metal band or rather the one-man band that is James McBain. Uh, it's coming out through Peaceful, as I said, which represents a jump from the previous label Reaper Metal Productions. Uh, by the way, congratulations, James. Uh, according to Amazon, it will be available on vinyl, uh, but I have no other real details on the vinyl variants, if there are any. Uh, other sites are reporting 180 gram weight, so take that as you will. Uh, if you want to hear the title track and first single from this album, it's available at the YouTube page at Peaceville Records or their YouTube page, rather. Uh, excited to hear this one. I really did enjoy the EP previous to this. It's called Black Arts and Alchemy. You should definitely check that out, but definitely get this new album, too. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Also coming out October 9th is a reissue for Sanctuary. They're reissuing their second album entitled Into the Mirror Black. Uh, it's coming out through Century Media's Legacy series. It's going to be a three LP set uh, in celebration of 30 years since this album came out. Incredible. Anyways, it's going to be available in Black, lilac, and gray vinyl. It's going to include an eight-page booklet, as well as a gatefold jacket. Uh, first record is the actual album. Uh, the second record is going to be demo material, 1989 demo material, obviously for this album. And the third record is going to be live material from their 1990 tour in support of this album. So, amazing collector's item for somebody who really loves this album. Like me, actually. Uh, release date here is for Europe only, as America's going to get this album next month on vinyl, uh, such being November. And But if you're in the U.S. and you don't want to wait, or you don't just want black vinyl, which is what Americans are getting, uh, you can order this through the worldwide site of Century Media instead of going to the U.S. version of the site. Just to let you know. Uh, anyways, yeah, there's no way I'm not getting this album. This is classic Sanctuary. Great stuff. On October 16th, expect the vinyl issue of Mastodon's Medium Rarities album uh, through Reprise Records. 
Uh, this is the vinyl issue that's released a month after the album made it out. It came out on CD and digital download last time around, so this is the vinyl release for it. Uh, in case that sounds familiar to you, maybe you've already heard this album's already out. Now you know why I'm announcing it here in this month. A 16-track compilation of rare tracks plus one new song. It's also released on limited edition pink vinyl. Very masculine. Uh, a music video of sorts is available for the single Fallen Torches, if you're interested in that. Um, I'm not a big fan of Mastodon, but I know a lot of you are, so there you go. On October 16th is the well-anticipated album from Benediction. This is Scriptures coming out through Nuclear Blast Records. I mean, who isn't psyched about this record coming out? I mean, it's the eighth studio album release for the band, but the even bigger deal here is this is the return of vocalist David Ingram, uh, who is back on a Benediction album for the first time in 22 years. Yes, I did the math. Uh, two LP set on this one. Vinyl variants for the U.S. are Canary Yellow, Pacific Blue, and Red and Black Swirl, the last of which is the one I'm getting. Uh, for your Europeans, you get black, as well as toffee vinyl. Sounds fancy. Uh, some of the colors will be available on the 16th, while others will come out on the 23rd, just so you know that. Two music videos are available for tracks on this album, such being Rabid Carnality, as well as Storm Crow. So highly recommended, both of those, and you should get this album. You do not want to miss out. New Benediction, yeah! Moving on to October 23rd, we have the upcoming album from Armored Saint, entitled Punching the Sky. This is the eighth studio album for this American metal band. It'll be put out through Metal Blade Records. Uh, it's a two LP set and a gatefold jacket, and with a poster and download card. And so far, the variant for this one is purple marbled vinyl. I haven't heard any other variants. That seems to be the one that's currently being said, but we all know that can change over time. Uh, some people like that. Some people feel cheated by it. But it's the way of the music industry these days, I suppose. So the bundles and special editions associated with this album are rapidly selling out. So if you're interested in those, you should act fast. Uh, there are music videos available for at least two songs from this album. Uh, songs such as Standing on the Shoulders of Giants, as well as for End of the Attention Span. Uh, both sound like classic Armored Saint. I checked them out recently. And Bush's voice, solid as ever. You should definitely check out both of these videos at the YouTube page for the Metal Blade Records. For the Metal Blade Records, you should check out, check out, check out the Armored Saint. There you go. Also on October 23rd is the upcoming album from Paul Bearer. It's called Forgotten Days, released through Nuclear Blast Records. It's the fourth studio album from this American doom metal band, 2LP set. Uh, all vinyl variants so far are European imports, interestingly enough, and come in white, 400 copies, black, unspecified number of copies, or white and lilac splatter, 500 copies. Uh, Nuclear Blast USA does have the white and lilac variant, if you're interested in that. Uh, you know, if you're an American and you're wanting to save some time on shipping, get that one. Otherwise, get one of the other two if you have patience, which, by and large, I do not. Uh, I don't know a lot about this band, but I like doom metal quite a bit, so I'll be looking into this release. Definitely. Also on October 23rd is a reissue from Immortal. This is the All Shall Fall album coming out through Nuclear Blast Records. Uh, obviously, you know this black metal band. You might even know this release. Uh, this is a limited edition LP, 500 copies released. Uh, it's coming out in black and Corona vinyl variant, which is basically just black and gray. Uh, the site even mentions that this release will only be available for a limited time. So if you want this, you should probably jump on it pretty quick. Uh, comes in a gatefold jacket as well as padded inner sleeves, which is a nice touch these days. Um, what else we got? Date is for the U.S. release as Europe will be getting this one a week earlier on October 16th. And I'd probably be remiss if I didn't talk about Record Store Day drops. Of course, there's one on October 24th. Uh, the one to get is probably Skid Row's reissue of their Slave to the Grind album. This is a 2LP reissue this time. Expanded edition, as they're calling it. Uh, this is the band's second album, obviously. Uh, of course, the original version of this album came out in 1991, so it's been a while. Uh, this is put up by Runout Groove who are also responsible for the reissue of Typo Negative's Bloody Kisses album back in 2018, in case that sounds familiar. Uh, as for Slave to the Grind, again, 2LP set. This is on solid red 180-gram vinyl with at least four bonus tracks. It also comes in a gatefold jacket and with an insert. Uh, limited to 2,500 copies. And, of course, if you want this title before it goes to the aftermarket, which I highly recommend you do, uh, you have to show up at your participating record store on October 24th. The earlier, the better. Uh, thankfully, this title is available from both U.S. and U.K. record stores that are participating, which is good news. And, yep, 
I am going after this one. A very underrated record for this band, for sure. Moving to October 30th, this one's a bit of a surprise. Believe it or not, a new Evil Dead album is coming out. It's going to be called The United States of Anarchy, put out through SPV Steamhammer. It's strange how many metal fans, even ones who are in a thrash metal, have no idea of this band. I mean, they put out this amazing debut album in 1989 called Annihilation of Civilization, which you should check out if you haven't. Uh, amazing album. Um, so they put out another album after that in 1991 and they disappeared, but apparently they're back. And uh, they're putting out their third album. Pretty amazing. Cover art for it, of course, is by Ed Repka. Obviously, you can tell. Uh, it's a European import only. Uh, on 140 gram orange with black swirl vinyl, also with a printed inner sleeve. And there is a lyric video for the track The Descending. It's available from the Steamhammer YouTube channel if you're interested in that. The single's okay, but we'll see how the rest of the album goes. We'll see. Also, October 30th is a new album from Mr. Bungle. That's right, Mr. Bungle. The album's called The Raging Wrath of the Easter Bunny Demo. Uh, it's coming out through Ipecac Records, which is Mike Patton's indie record label. Uh, some of you might remember Mr. Bungle. They put out that insane self-titled debut album in 1991. Uh, this is going to be their fourth album. It's the first album they've done since 1999. Uh, also, a couple of new members of the band. You might know Dave Lombardo, formerly of Slayer, as well as Scott Ian of Anthrax. They're on this album, which is interesting. Uh, this is basically a re-recorded version of the band's demo from 1985, which is kind of interesting that they're releasing it as an album. Uh, this is going to be a 2LP set and on translucent ruby red vinyl. Uh, two music videos are available, one for the song Raping Your Mind and the other for the song Erasist. Uh, so you might want to check those out to get a better idea of what this album is going to sound like. Uh, I'm curious about this record. Uh, I'll see if I'll actually pick it up. I don't know if I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I'm a creature of whim, as many know. So if you know of any metal vinyl releases that I missed, and admittedly, I probably missed quite a few, you should definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, maybe you're in a band you put an album out. Let me know that as well. Or some of the genres, the subgenres that I tend to miss. Most of the time, it's black metal. I know. Anyways, put all of that in the comments below. If you enjoy this video and you want to see it continue in future months, you should definitely encourage me by giving this a like and subscribing, of course, if you haven't already done so, and share the video with your friends. Why not, right? Also, check out all the other videos I do here at my channel. This is the Accusation Network. Again, the strangely named channel uh, for metal vinyl collecting, obviously. I do these types of videos once or twice a week. Definitely check out the playlists. See what you like. I'm sure there's something in there. And as always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for even more metal vinyl releases coming next month.